folks, this is nothing to get on your high horse about, but the Islamic world is still doing everything it can to get the attention of this White House. Hey people, recently you've seen us on the hills of Hashem and on that explain, chopping off the heads that have been carrying the cross delusion for a long time, filled with spite against Islam and Muslims. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. He goes on like that for another minute or so, then the apparent mass murder of 21 Egyptian Christians takes place. They also say they will conquer Rome and fill the ocean with our blood. And in case Obama tries to call this one random, the Islamic State conducted a house-to-house -house search for these guys by name and collected them for the murder, leaving other Muslims behind. At the same time, another Islamic attack that involved a cartoonist, Jews, and police took place this time in Copenhagen, Denmark. As usual, after his violent act, the Islamic shooter ended up dead. And all of this just after the president said Islamic violence doesn't exist. I think the media sometimes overstates the sort of level of alarm people should have about terrorism and, and this kind of chaos. Absolutely. If it bleeds, it leads. As far as Obama is concerned, all of the Islamic violence around the world isn't happening. That's just the media hyping all that up. White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest issued a statement condemning the murders of the Egyptians, but did so without using the words Islamic or Christian. Once again, nothing to see here, just a bunch of guys in black killing a bunch of guys in orange. Nothing more than that. So now the Egyptians have joined in the act, and with the Jordanians are pounding the Islamic State. But these people still don't have Obama's attention. Thanks for listening, and be sure to catch the weekly Ray Winner Show and subscribe on iTunes or at the